Hey there everyone, how you doing? Jeff C. here. It is Wednesday, April the 22nd, and once again, Mr. Alex Jones, the biggest fear porn, bullshit, COINTELPRO, uh, lying scumbag, uh, fear porn profiteer, of course, in the history of the world, essentially. Yeah, absolutely. Can you think of a bigger one <laughs> than him? No. Alex Jones has once again managed to get another Free Radio Revolution video pulled from Scroogel. This is the third one in, in just about 24 hours or so. Um, of course, I have been heavily hitting them uh, with their bullshit story, calling them out on the extreme bullshit, which is their claimed ISIS training base in Mexico, and APRA. How ridiculous these jokers are. They are pushing outright lies. I have shown in my videos how they were doing this, and then they have sent their shills, which showed up immediately. I mean, whenever I, I uh, attack Alex Jones, the Alex Jones shills show up. And if you think for one second that Alex Jones doesn't hire shills, well, I got a bridge to sell you, okay? Of course he hires shills. Alex Jones has a major purpose. He is the number one disinfo outlet in the fucking world. Now, the powers that be... Those that fund Alex Jones and, um, you know, they, Alex Jones himself, are very concerned at being exposed. So they are going to come down hard and heavy on those who come out and call out their bullshit. And that's exactly what they're doing with me because I'm quite a thorn in their side. I have enough people that listen to me. I have enough people that, um, you know, uh, understand what exactly is going on and get the word out. Help me share these videos help spread the message and that is very worrisome to them because well you know they've got a lot to hide they have a lot to cover up because they have been lying to you for years if not decades now well yeah you can go back decades now i mean seriously you can go back to y2k or whatever right this guy is the biggest fraud on the internet in the history of the internet there is no question whatsoever and they're coming after me Instantly, their shills show up on my on my videos. As soon as I start calling out Alex Jones, happens every single time, by the way. Every time. Many of the same ones show up and pushing the many of the same things. Um, when people say things like, Alex Jones um, doesn't hire shills, go fuck yourself, all right? Of course, Alex Jones hires shills. When people say things like, well, Jeff C., he doesn't care about you. He wouldn't bother taking down your videos. Go fuck yourself, because yes, they do care about me, and they are worried about the reach that I have. And I'll cut into their bottom line, because enough people will wake up that they will feel the pinch in their pocketbook. That's for sure, and that's what we're hoping. We're hoping to take them down right out of the game, because they are liars. Nobody should trust them again, all right? Now, I have uploaded the videos here to... Vidme. This is the third one now. Um, a lot of people probably didn't see this one. It's quite long, 32 minutes. It's Alex Jones, Joe Biggs exposed Mexican ISIS based lies. I took one of their 15 minute videos and totally ripped it apart with Joe Big shit and Alex Jones and how utterly ridiculous they are. Okay, so I post the link for this one below the other two uh, videos as well below that were pulled. They're all up on Vidme now. So you can go and watch them there. I highly encourage you to either download them, um, upload them to your channels, share them. I mean, do anything you can to get the word out because we need to take this out. This is a big problem. It's a huge problem when the largest alternative media outlet is total disinfo. That's a huge problem, folks. All right. And people that say, well, Jeff, you should try to get along with them. Fuck you. All right. Seriously, I ain't getting along with any disinfo outlet. If you're a shill, you know, you can go fuck yourself. If you are pushing disinfo, you can go and double fuck yourself. I don't want anything to do with you. And I'm sick of these liars. And I have been calling out Alex Jones now for years. All right. I have covered so many different hoaxes that Alex Jones wouldn't touch with a hundred foot pole. All right. Whether it be Sandy Hook, the Boston bombing or any of the other ones, the Ebola. Oh, of course he touched that. He, he, he was all over that having a big jerk off circle jerk fest, um, calling, um, it the end of humanity, essentially in hundreds of videos that they did on that. We need to call these fuckers out. Okay. So anybody that thinks that Alex Jones, um, doesn't have, and I'll just show you one other channel here that also has this video. I'll post the link for this below. This is uh, a, a good person here, free radio replay, who's uploading, um, almost all my work. And there's a couple other channels that are doing this as well. And I really thank them. 
very, very nice thing to do. Uh, I am 100% nonprofit, so you people have my blessing to upload my videos to your channels. In fact, that's what helps make Free Radio Revolution survive. So big thanks to Free Radio Replay here, and they've got uh, dozens, if not hundreds, of videos of mine up just in the past few days. So really big thanks, and to the other ones that are uploading as well. But those who think that um, Alex Jones doesn't have the power to uh, take down videos, doesn't have connections high up in Google, I played this before. I'm going to play it again just so you listen in on what he did to one of the biggest shills in, well, one of the big, most obvious shills that is out there. The only bigger shill than Mark Schuldice or uh, John Connor or whatever you want to call him is Alex Jones himself. And wouldn't you know it, they're just all chummy again. Mark Dice's videos, some of them had 5 million views apiece. In fact, more. Uh, and his videos were getting bigger and bigger each time, just like ours are. What did Google do? They took down both his channels two days ago. Both his channels. And they did it with the super mods that the government has gotten them to approve. And it was only because I had contacts, and I don't like to talk about this, but there are good people inside YouTube and Google, that I was able to put dice in contact with senior people who saw that it was basically fake moderation to restore his channel 30... 30 minutes to go, 666, of course, right? Um, so he has high contacts, high up in Google, right? Senior Google. So he can call Google anytime to get videos pulled. And that's exactly what he is doing with my videos. Make no fucking mistake about it. And of course, the shills that Alex Jones employs will come onto my videos and tell you that this is nonsense. And that how do you know that Alex Jones, I know for sure that Alex Jones is behind this. I know that Joe Biggs has come onto my videos before and tried to defend his <laughs> non-existent honor. You are a scumbag, Joe Biggs. So are you, Alex Jones. So does everyone that works for you because you've all sold out, you've all taken the deal, and you all push complete and utter bullshit all the time on your shows. You are a disgrace to the truth movement. And I, you guys are done. I mean, I'm fucking... I'm digging the hole right now for you guys, and there's many other people that are, are helping me dig this hole for you guys. We're going to make sure you get in there and we bury you, because you fuckers can't get away with this shit. Now, one of the things I want to talk about as well is this Alex Jones is Bill Hicks. Isn't it funny on Alex Jones, if you search Bill Hicks, all these videos come up? Isn't it funny how that works? Do you know why that works? Who do you think came up with Alex Jones is Bill Hicks? I'll tell you who came up with it. Alex Jones himself. Of course. It's the most obvious thing. As someone who's been in the game for a long time, who has seen shilling, I could write a book on shilling. In fact, I may very well do that in the near future because I know it like very few people know it, okay? The way it works is simple. You put out ridiculous rumors about yourself so that anybody that starts to question Alex Jones, wait, wait, wait a second, Alex Jones is not legit? The next thing you know, they fall into the Alex Jones is Bill Hicks. And he comes out again and again and again in his videos saying, yeah, I'm Bill Hicks, right? It's InfoWars that are behind that. And it's the shills that InfoWars employs that push that narrative because it works. It's the oldest trick in the book. It's the oldest trick in the book, all right? You put out a, a rumor or a, a conspiracy that's so ridiculous that people that start to wake up and start to think Alex Jones is not legit, next thing you know, they see the videos, Alex Jones is Bill Hicks, and then they go, oh, those guys are just crazy. And then they go back to Alex Jones and they say, well, he must be legit. Alex Jones is the one who is the biggest pusher of Alex Jones is Bill Hicks. And you know what? Even if he was, it doesn't mean fuck all. Because these assholes will come onto my videos, these shills, and they'll say things like, Jeff C's full of shit because he won't tell you the real truth. I'll tell you the real truth. Alex Jones is 100% fucking COINTELPRO bullshit. That's the real truth. I don't give a fuck what his real name is. And most of these people never use their real names. All right? I don't think at all that he's Bill Hicks. I think that's exactly what Alex Jones wants to go, uh, wants to be out there. He wants when people start to search up Alex Jones Exposed or Alex Jones COINTELPRO that they find that Alex Jones is Bill Hicks, right? And then it looks ridiculous. Where have we seen that before? I've seen it so many times. I can't even begin 
to count. But I give you a perfect example. Dallas Goldbug with Sandy Hook. Perfect example. First, you give some good information. Next thing you know, Tony Hawk is is Robbie Parker, and you know, um, <laughs> you know, it, it, uh, uh, Jay Rockefeller is playing, um, you know, uh, the corner or whatever, right? I mean, it, the next thing you know, it's it's just pure idiocy. So then the corporate media can come on and say, "Look at these ludicrous, uh, you know, uh, conspiracy theorists with Sandy Hook. They actually think that so and so is so and so, right? And that's how it works." They actually think Bill Hicks or Alex Jones is Bill Hicks. So Alex Jones is the one that is directly behind this. And um, this is the oldest trick in the book. And I want you all to be aware of it. All of you need to be aware of this, of how it works. I've seen it so many times, you know, and you have to be aware of how the game works. The shills are a fact of fucking life. People that tell you that there aren't shills are a shill. All right? Somebody that says to you, Jeff C. isn't being shilled, that's a shill. I'm being shilled like crazy because there aren't too many, you know, fairly popular alternative media that are legit out there. There really isn't. And I'm just one guy, the total nonprofit, you know, doing videos in my free time sort of thing. And I'm not afraid to say, uh, call a spade a spade. I've done it every time. When I think something is real, I call it real. When I think something is fake, I call it fake. You know, you could disagree with me. In fact, if, if you remain civil, I'll, I, I don't even delete the shill comments anymore because I think it's better that people see how they work. I, I, I mean, honestly, <laughs> it's better to see how they attack me, how their methods, so that you can all learn from it. So you can see in the comments, you can see what these people do. You can see their methods. You know, they're hitting me like fucking crazy because they want me out of the game. They've wanted me out of the game for a very long time and they've amped it up more and more, right? We need to recognize the source of these shills. We need to recognize who they promote, what they promote, what they are trying to do to this truth movement, how they are trying to make us all look like kooks, crazy fucking lunatics. That's what they want more than anything. Make us all look like a bunch of infighting fucking lunatics, essentially. Right? And that's what Alex Jones is trying to do with his minions, with his shills, coming onto my channels, taking down legitimate videos that are legitimate critiques of his complete and utter bullshit, and then pushing on his own channel that he is Bill Hicks. Right? So that people shut down, so that people that haven't woken up enough that haven't been around long enough to, to smell the scam that is Infowars, that haven't seen this fat man enough to realize he's full of shit. I don't know. It takes me about five seconds, <laughs> you know, but uh, I understand other people come in. They don't understand what's going on and they fall into Alex Jones's lap. They listen to him harp all day long about Ebola being the end of the world, but you can buy this colloidal silver here, right? You can buy this ProPure and it will save you. It's all a scam. It's all a scam. And let me repeat that. It's all a fucking scam. There is nothing of value coming out of Infowars. Nothing. I don't care if they fucking played the, uh, uh, we need to talk about Sandy Hook. The only reason they ever decided to cover Sandy Hook is because too many of their audience were questioning them and leaving comments all the time. Why don't you cover Sandy Hook? Why don't you cover Sandy Hook? Finally, they have no choice because they'll lose their audience. People will turn on them. That's how it works. Right? So I don't give a fuck what little peanuts they give us. These guys are liars. They are worse than the corporate media. Let me repeat that. Infowars is worse than the corporate media. All right? Because they pretend to be on our side. They are not on our side. They are the enemy. They work for the same globalists that they claim to expose. That is plain as day, clear as, as the sky. I mean, get the fuck out of here. These guys are liars and scammers. And um, they're going to burn in hell for, for their misdeeds. I, I know that. I know that for sure. You know, I have faith that um, these phonies will be outed. And uh, they will pay the price for doing this. All right? Alex Jones is a fraud. Be, be aware of what they're up to. Be aware of the censorship that they're doing. Be aware of how they're taking down people who are exposing them. And call them out. 
Go on to their videos and call them out.